Our third type laser is called uh, Iridex Verilite. It is like my little cleanup tool. Uh, it looks like a little pen stylus, uh, and it's meant for very specific, very small targeting of both red and brown. I use this in conjunction with the IPL regularly. Again, I use someone comes in, they have, say, rosacea, considerable rosacea. Uh, we treat with a treatment plan of just, for example, three treatments to really knock down, suppress some of that vasculature in the, in the face and the chin. What then may be left over that I cannot accomplish any further with an IPL are those visible superficial blood vessels that sit on the nose, that sit on the cheeks or the chins. These are the ones that they look like a little road map uh, on your face. Very difficult because this area is very vascular. So a Verilite, its purpose is to literally go to those targeted problem residual areas. Really work on erasing those, improving them. We have a very high success rate with getting rid of the vast majority. Again, sometimes the expectation uh, may be that, well, 100% of them were gone when I left here, but now I've noticed a couple of them coming back. That is blood vessels, especially on the nose, these superficial blood vessels. Again, you have other things that will factor in on their return. Uh, sometimes it's if they're larger, uh, they're deeper, but those people who have allergies, who are constantly blowing their nose, rubbing their nose, who tend to fidget with their face, uh, you're co that's a constant assault. You're gonna constantly have that irritation and you're going to be the one that's more likely to have those vessels reappear. Are those same exact vessels reappearing? No, not necessarily. Uh, it could be ones that are sitting just adjacent or near to it. So purpose being, we're going to target those that are there. One treatment in a good portion of our patients may be sufficient because they have a small number, they're smaller, they're easy uh, to target. The larger they are, the more they are, it's going to take more than one treatment, a few weeks apart. Again, your IPL, when we treat with that, a series of treatments typically a few weeks apart. Again, the nice thing, downtime, either IPL or Verilite, is minimal. When you walk out the door, you will have sunscreen moisturizer on you. Uh, you're able to put makeup on, if you'd like. With the IPL, when we're specifically treating sun damage, that that is brown will look darker brown for approximately seven to 10 days before it, it will fade and or just sometimes flake off. It's not uh, anything that it looks like you have scabs all over your face, but it is called micro scabbing just beneath the skin. Very tiny, tiny, if you were to look under a microscope or under a high powered uh, magnifier, it looks like coffee grounds. It's the pigment that's breaking up. Red is different in that it has to fade typically and decrease over time. Either way, you're going to be able to walk out, put makeup on. Uh, you can be out in the sun, although we don't recommend spending a day at the beach the day after you have your laser treatment. Or if you're going on a vacation that is to the beach for a week or so, you want to wait. Uh, again, taking care of the skin, uh, targeting, focally treating the problem areas. Uh, you can make your skin look wonderful in a short period of time, but the key is keeping it that way. So the occasional maintenance, you come back for what's called photo rejuvenation.
uh, you know, working out. All these things have a bearing on that. And so some things you can control for, others you can't. We live in Florida. Uh, you can't necessarily stay in an air conditioning uh, setting all the time. You're going to be outside. But by using the laser to really knock down those vessels, knock down that red, using these other combination treatments of you know the skin care that's targeting that as well. Maintenance with those types of skin products that are going to keep it at bay. Again, it's key. These lasers, you know, we think of them as corrective, which that's their probably their primary work is you've come to us with a problem. You want to get it corrected. So we develop that plan to correct it. But it's just as important, if not more important, of what are you doing otherwise uh, for your skin in that area that you have that problem that will help maintain this correction. So maintenance is key and combination therapy is key for the best result.